is also popular Radiant in North and South America. Pick. I, I'm actually quite surprised they picked the Osa. Immortality. Yeah. And I'd be interested to see exactly. I, I've had a discussion about this before. Um, complexity has a couple of level one rush strats that they've pulled out in tiebreak. Oh, it looks like up top we're gonna have some action. There is an arcane bolt, gonna be our first blood. Will they find Smash J.O. actually gonna go down here? Of course, he does have that Aegis. And now Whitebeard is deep under the tower. There are a lot of you brought the creeps mid. This is another interesting thing. I. Okay, there, yeah, there. There. There, never mind. I was gonna. I thought maybe he was trying to be tricksy and be like, "Yeah, I." Oh. <laughs> We're gonna be seeing be so much higher level than your mid, but it looks like that wasn't the case. So we're gonna. Yeah. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh no, we have the magic missile, but the block, meaning that Iwo can't get in for the slithering crush and now Masoku being body blocked Dyer's up by the weird looking trees. Top. Will there be, they're gonna have to slithering crush, she's gonna go down. Iwo. Oh, yep, they're going in on Moose. Slithering Crush, it looks like they might have the damage. A few more autos, one more from the bench. We'll get it at the same time as, again, we see Whitebeard trying to be tricksy, but not able to make anything latch. Oh, okay, what is it? Fluff and Stuff, hello. Hello, that's gonna be a dead bend, and maybe Fluff and Stuff can actually get more of the Arcane Bolt coupled with the- Radiant structures are fortified. Also, he did- oh, in bottom, we're gonna have a slithering crush on two. They also get off a nice wave of terror. Fluff and stuff going down. Can they find Mu is the real question. Masoku taking a lot of damage from the tree and- Oh, a couple more auto attacks. A beautiful sprout. He actually Radiant stops knowing that his trees can get it off to us and they're attack. not able to- Does he even- he doesn't have bash leveled. Of course they're not able to get it. No. Oh. Speaking of double stuns, they destroy Fluff and stuff with those, and Deo comes in. Oh, actually, this is gonna be the TP away. Can they kill him? They manage to before he gets the TP out. Deo does pop the enrage. Yeah, there's a couple great things, I think, going the way of Archon. As I say this, Monkey's Forever is gonna take a stun. There's also a side trap and the bear clap. This Enchantress is doing a good amount of work from a completely... Yeah, oh, actually, Radiant she did end up coming in mid. Fortified. They get the kill on Monkeys Forever. Dyer's middle tower Some good work attack. happening. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Mm -hmm. Oh, Rest. and with that, the Omni Knight also goes down. I want to take a, like, there's, this is pretty close. But at this point, while Man does get the kill on Sarah, the refractions are back up. She has no strike, but she comes on out of it. And the repel is on Sia instead of anybody else but Smash from behind. Laguna Blade will Van end up living through this. It's just in the Melon Strike sitting there. Just completely chill, and Moo gets the. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh gosh, Smash has walked into the wrong neighborhood and is going to go down. That's how Anosa deals with Untouchable. Yep, we're gonna be seeing the verse that you mentioned, and now we're gonna be seeing Mu taking a bit of damage. The rock stunning on three of them. Now Silas on four. Wipe is just gonna roll away. Aegis has been picked up by Osa. They blow up Lena though. J.O. Oh gosh, that's the GA coming out. You can't attack anyone through that. That is also his enrage. He does have a second life, but they've also killed off Nature's puppet. And I'm not sure that Fluff and Stuff has enough in the tank. He does have a Mystic Flare, but. There, us is gone, and even though the Mystic Flay hits on one, it doesn't matter. So yeah, it's gonna be Fluff and stuff saying goodbye as well. Suddenly, E-Wolves, I mean, they're showing that 
Rotlaw's making good progress on that Deso. There were actually a lot less stacks, just because that's another effect, I think, of the Earth Spirit. He had been up there, meaning that they couldn't stack. A uh, big roll in onto Smash. Pops that ult. The Magnetize is coming out, but Monkey's forever. Yeah, it's not going to save you. They're all taking the Magnetize. Actually, Sia is taking a really large amount of damage, but while I'm saying that, Whitebeard, he's trying to juke. He managed to kick one away, but it's not enough. Speaking of aggressive, we have Mu going down. Iwo chops his way through the tree and uh, make sure that he can see him. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Oh, what is this? Yeah. That was really well played. Oh gosh, Whitebeard is gonna end up going down. Yeah, he'll get it. So there, there was some really well played action on the back line. Though actually, we still have a fight. Smash has a haste rune. Of course he does. S4 rune. Can he get anything done with it? Uh, Jo may end up being forced to pop his ult just to stop taking damage from Smash. Jo's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. We have a smoke coming out of Alcon. Fluff and stuff is going to open it up. See, it is silence, but Monkeys Forever already swapped into death. They will kill off the Guardian Angel Bringer, but J.O. going to be stunned. Masoku, he does have a magic missile in two seconds, so J.O., he has to be careful. He's taking a bit of damage. Can he blink away? No! They don't even need the magic missile in Alpu. They are going to just eat right through him. He is dead as well. Disastrous fight from level 15. Other than that, these levels are actually pretty equivalent across the board, but then you've got Van, level 15, has a blink, has the Deso, is about to get another item, and Io, uh, Iwo just solo kills. I don't think he can solo kill Jo. Oh, well, I know who wins it if he's got extra health. There's going to be Ven blinking forwards again. They're trying to go in on the Sia. There's going to be a Mystic Flare off the mark. Iwo backing out because they've lost Sia, the Omni, again. But Soku looking like he's in a lot of trouble he's gonna take a mystic flare can he live no gonna go down oh but no it will win smash what's going on smash is in the middle of them he will get silent smash is finally gonna fall that's his streak going down and it looks like Alcon is doing it they have van coming in from the back lines he brought monkeys forever in top but it may not be enough iwo he does have omelet toggling but it doesn't help when a bear's on top of you so he goes down there and uh, we were just saying, backing on out, Van wants to go, he's got the Repel on him, but I don't think they can catch anyone. The Skywrath is slowed. Oh, there should be a Melt Strike with Bluff and Stuff's name on it. Let's get some two-shot action in here, says Van. And now the Swamp onto Whitebeard. After the destruction laid down by Archon, Evil's turning it around. Is under attack. Oh gosh, Whitebeard. Okay, he's gonna snowball away. This means that the Earths are thinking about coming in, but Geo gets stunned up by the Slytherin Curse and they're locking him down. He is dead. That, oh, immediate buybacks from both of them. Ewols, this might be your cue to leave. Yeah, it, I mean, obviously we've also got Mu pushing the top lane. Here it goes. Jo jumps in, stops ripping through their lines. A Mystic play hitting on two. Immediately smash and bench are dead. And now we'll see. We'll see it follows up. Van coming in. The Guardian comes out. Now again, not hitting Van. They need to pop open Jo. He is almost all of their damage, especially with the Mystic play gone. But Van stunned up by the Earth Spirit, who, you know, hasn't had the best of games, but is still getting work done. They'll kill off Fluff and stuff. Again, two shot without needing much more since they had the amp damage. But it's really oh goodness, they catch out. Oh, so Jo, is he just gonna go down? That's a die back. It's a free Roshan. For this, he can really do whatever he wants, and they can high ground. Although Whitey are doing a really good job of wasting their time. There it is. Oh, Van takes the cheese. <laughs> Yeah, but it doesn't do any damage, of course. Oh, actually, I don't know if Ghost is physical. Well, let's see. Fluff and stuff is running around. Oh, no. The stun comes out, and now he's going to burn down. And let's see. It will, will be fine. Let me just double check my... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh. And Mu gets caught out. Like yesterday. The sprites are with us. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Now, oh goodness, we have some action in the mid lane. And taking a lot of damage, he does. Oh, he popped the cheese already. Whitebeard goes down in two shots, and now he can walk in on the tower. 
Actually, I thought maybe the Earth Spirit was wasting some time in middle, but I actually now understand that Whitebeard was doing exactly what he needed to do. They were making sure Van couldn't stack, she wasn't getting as much CS, but still, she just said, hey, come mid game, I'll kill you all. Fluff and stuff takes a bit of damage, but in jumps Jo. Guardian Angel, everybody backs out that Mystic Flare. Guardian Angel doesn't protect you from that, but Van, not caring about any of this, gonna get the rack, somebody's gonna pick up that gem, and they're gonna do a lot of damage in return, and they're out. Okay, one second. Iwo is being crazy hands. He goes all the way in. Geo though pumps that enrage is taking no damage. That was the Aegis though. Geo, one more auto attack from Van brings him down. And now Van, uh, well, it's just gonna chill out. Oh, actually, never mind. They're going on Moo anyway. Four stops, blink daggers, white beards in the fountain. Is it even safe in there? Radiant victory. Yeah, we'll see in a second. It was amazing too because I really feel like Van, they did a good job of making sure Van didn't have a bunch of space. They brought Van low a couple times. He had to back out of the lane, couldn't get as much CS as he wanted, but just found a way around it and great setup with the team. There was that bit you mentioned where the Ursa couldn't do anything because they played as five and you, you Ursa's like, look, they'll GA, I have to go farm elsewhere. And uh, at least